Let's see this problem. Define the two parametric lines as R1 and R2. Find the equation of the plane. It contains both lines. Very interesting. We were teaching you how to fix the unique plane in the space. So here is the example of the plane. Just putting a point on the plane does not make it unique because I can have lots of different planes, including the same point. But the moment you fix a normal vector uh, at this point to the plane, then the plane becomes unique. So on this picture, it will be looking like so, a normal vector. Thus, we need two things. We need to fix the point and we need to find a normal vector. So equation of the plane needs two things, a point, just like equation of the uh, line. Remember, we just did in a different in the previous videos. There we needed a point and the direction vector. Here we need a point and a normal vector. Normal vector. Nice. So here it is. A scalar equation of the plane through the point x0, y0, z0 with normal vector a, b, c. And look, it looks like that point, so A comes from the normal vector B and C as well. And then X minus shift, which is your point, Y minus shift, which is a point, Z minus shift, which is the point equals to zero. This is one of the ways to write down the equation of the plane. But we don't have a point. So that is the problem. They gave us instead two lines. Here they are, they belong to the plane. And they say, these two lines lying on the plane, please make sure that you create equation of that plane. Okay, so let's find the intersection of those two lines and use that point as the point that belongs to the plane. Because it is possible uh, to do that. And then we're gonna find a normal vector. So solution will have two parts, part one is to find the point of intersection the point of intersection of r1 and r2 of r sub 1 and r sub 2 and then part 2 part 2 if finding the normal vector n which is coming from the cross product, as you remember. Cross product of R1 and R2. That's how we're going to do that. Okay, let's start with part one. To find intersection, I will uh, remind you that we're looking at two parametric lines here as 3s minus 6 and s plus 1, 2t minus 4, t minus 3 and t. But these are x and y's and z's. And these are x and y's and z's. So we can just set them equal to each other. We're going to get three equations with two unknowns, which is actually too much. So th s equals 2t minus 4, and that's the first equation. 3s minus 6 minus 3, the second equation, and s plus 1 equals That is the third equation. So we don't need three equations actually to solve for two unknowns. Just choose any two easy looking equations you like and choose any method you want. You can do substitution method or elimination method or anything else you like, maybe even using matrices. But to be honest, even from here you already have that t is just s plus 1. Or you can have it from here at s is 2t minus 4. I would just use that t is s plus 1. And let's plug it here, for example. I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. All of these look pretty easy. 3s minus 6 equals t. Let's put it in blue. Is s plus 1 minus 3. So simplify 3s minus 6 is s plus 1 minus 3, which is minus 2. 
move unknowns to the left, 3s minus s is 2s, move the constant to the right, minus 2 plus 6 is 4, divide by 2, s is 2, right? Now, we can find t, if s is 2, t is s plus 1, is 2 plus 1, which is 3. So step 1 is successfully done. We found S and T. However, that's not the point. <laughs> I mean, there was a point of doing that, but we need to have a point of intersection in the form of X, Y, and Okay, not S and T. S and T are parameterizations. So let's find these as I just mentioned to you before. S is x, y is 3s minus 6, and z is s plus t, or 2t minus 4t minus 3 and t. Both will work, so it doesn't really matter. Thus, x, y, z, that is a point, not a vector, remember that, will be, let's plug it, to, I don't know, to this part, because it's just in front of me, so why not? It's going to be s is 2, 3s minus 6 is going to be 3 times 2, 6 minus 6, 6 minus 6 is 0, s plus 1, it is 2 plus 1, which is 3. So the point is 2, oh, 3, or we could plug it into these, and you can check, and you should check, that the answer should be the same, 2t is going to be 2 times 3, 6, 6 minus 2 is, 6 minus 4 is 2, t minus 3 is 3 minus 3 is 0, and t is 3, the same, so the point is correct. That is my point, point, and I showed you the code p sub 0. So step 1 is done, step 2, we have the point, but we don't have a normal vector. Normal vector can be found as a cross product of R1 and R2 vectors. Let's perform I, J, and K, and then write it down. So looking at the vectors we have, at uh, not the vectors, sorry, parametric lines, we only need to use these parts that are multiplied by S and T's. So 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 1. That is what we need. So we're going to have a determinant of 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 1, like so, equals. Just like in the video before, it will be i multiplied by 3 minus 1, which is 2. Okay, I'll write it down for you. One, why not? To have good notes. Minus j multiplied by 1 minus 2. Plus j multiplied by 1 minus 6. That gives me 3 minus 1 is 2i. Minus min 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So it's going to be plus j. And then minus 5k. Or you can also write it down as a vector 2, 1, and minus 5. That is my normal vector. Normal vector. Very nice. Final step is actually writing down the equation, which I have it for you over here. A. Those are my uh, pieces from the normal. A, B, and C. And an X sub 0, y sub 0, and z sub 0 are my components of the point. So, let me write it down to have good notes for you. Point P sub 0 is 2, O, 3. Normal vector. Normal vector. N is 2, 1, and minus 5. Then the equation of the plane equal the plane will be so normal 2, 1, and minus 5 
each multiplied x minus point 0.2, y minus point, which is 0, z minus point, which is 3, equals to 0. You can also simplify this if you distribute. It will be 2x plus y minus 5z, something called capital D, right? But, uh, uh, or sometimes you do it minus D equals to 0. So what is that D? D is this collection of constants. 2 minus 2, so let's do plus, it's going to be minus 4 plus 0, and then minus 15, minus 5, and minus 3 gives you plus 15 equals to 0. So 2x plus 5 minus 5z equals minus 4 plus 15 is 11, so it's minus 11. Both answers are correct. Now it depends on how you are asked to input or show your final answer. As a normal point minus x minus point y minus point and z minus point or normal x, normal y, normal z equals a collection of all the coefficients d. So that's also one of the ways to write it down. Basically, I can summarize for you what I just said. One of the ways to write down the formula is ax plus b D and that D is this distribution and collection of all those coefficients. So you might see this formula in the literature as well. Hopefully that was not too long to do. Basically has two parts and the second part is the hardest one because you have to be careful with the cross product. But if you mess up finding the correct point then kind of you also screw up the whole process at the very end. So make sure you have two pieces found correctly. A point and a normal vector. Thank you for watching.